We are back to discussing balloons. The world can't seem to get enough of them. They're the flavor of the season, the weapon of choice, the most formidable spies popping up in the skies across the world. The Americans said they shot down Chinese balloons. The Chinese said they spotted American balloons. Could the Russians have been far behind? They've joined the balloon wars, it seems. Ukraine says it saw six Russian balloons and it shot them down. This is like Alice in Wonderland, curiouser and curiouser. The first balloon appeared in Montana in the U.S., then Latin American states. Soon Japan floated into the headlines. It said it spotted Chinese balloons in 2019. Taiwan gave a balloon warning. In India, there was a sighting over Port Blair. It's almost like a new club now. Everybody who's anybody has a balloon story. And the world has a new challenge to deal with. How do you ensure the safety of your skies? How much of a threat do these balloons pose? Where are they coming from? And the Russians? Can their balloons deliver what their tanks and jets haven't? Tonight, we'll bring you the most comprehensive report on spy balloons. It, it's taking a lot to say this the straight face. Comprehensive report on spy balloons. We'll take you inside the Chinese facility that makes these balloons. We're starting with Ukraine because that's where the latest action is. The balloons were spotted in Kiev. They also flew over Romania and Moldova. In response, Moldova shut down its airspace and Romania scrambled jets. How did the balloons end up there? Ukraine says they were Russian, but these balloons were not there to spy. They had a different purpose. They were there to distract. Kiev says the intention was to trick Ukraine's air defenses and exhaust valuable supplies. The enemy wants us to use our force and means, our air defense missiles against those balloons and their reflectors. They are the essential element of our air defense system. They defend our critical infrastructure and other crucial objects. Our soldiers that are on combat duty monitor the situation 24 hours a day, not only in Ukraine's airspace, but also far beyond. So what kind of balloons are these? They have radar reflectors, something that would set off the air defense systems of Ukraine. So when the system detects a balloon like this, it will open fire. Ukraine says that it has detected these objects twice. It's calling them fake targets. How did these balloons end up in Moldova and Romania? Reports say they drifted into their airspace. In response, Moldova shut its airbase for one hour and Romania sent two fighter jets. They were not able to find the balloons, so the jets returned after 30 minutes of aerial search. What does Russia have to say about this? No statement from Moscow yet, but the West is issuing warnings. The NATO is stepping up vigilance. The NATO chief says he sees a pattern here. Then uh, on the balloons, well, <clears throat> I think what we saw over the United States, I visited the United States last week, is part of a pattern uh, where China, but also Russia, are increasing their intelligence and surveillance activities against NATO allies with many different platforms. We see it in cyber, and uh, we see it uh, with satellites, more and more satellites, and we see it then, uh, with uh, balloons. Uh, that highlights the importance of... Uh, our vigilance, uh, our increased uh, uh, presence, um, uh, and also that we s ramp up and step up uh, how we share intelligence and how we uh, monitor and protect our airspace. Stoltenberg mentioned China and the spy balloons. Let's show you where they come from. Look at these satellite pictures. They are from Hainan, the island of Hainan in China. The PLA has a base here a facility that is dedicated to the spy balloon program. This is what it looks like. Now take a closer look. A report has described the facility in great detail. It is surrounded by a security fence. There is a 140 meter launch pad. Some equipment is also visible. It appears like something that can be used to launch balloons. There is a hangar near the launch pad. Clearly, this is a large scale program, but Beijing continues to deny its existence. It is now issuing threats to the U.S. China says it will retaliate. China has repeatedly explained the situation to the U.S., but the U.S. has abused force and overreacted to escalate the situation and used this as a pretext to illegally sanction Chinese enterprises and institutions to which China resolutely opposes and will take countermeasures against the relevant U.S. entities that harm China's sovereignty and security and resolutely safeguard national sovereignty 
and legitimate rights and interests. The balloon wars are intensifying. First, America shot down the Chinese balloon. Then it sanctioned six Chinese entities. Washington said they support China's spy balloon program. Now, Beijing is threatening retaliation. It says it spotted as many as 10 American balloons and that these balloons flew over Tibet and Xinjiang. This is also a narrative war, and China is desperate to win it. This week, China declared America as the empire of mass surveillance. When it comes to surveillance and monitoring of other countries, we have to point out that the U.S. is the empire of mass surveillance. I believe that the international community, especially Europe, has first-hand experience. Well, they may have a point, but two wrongs do not make a right. China must explain its actions. American lawmakers, meanwhile, are pushing for a firm response. Two resolutions have been passed in the U.S. Senate. They condemn China for the balloon incident. One of the resolutions declares that China invaded the U.S. airspace. We ought to be much more forceful than we have been with the Chinese government. We ought to be saying to them that this is espionage on our soil. This is a deliberate act by them. Expect a war of words to follow. Germany is hosting a security conference this week in Munich. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken will attend. So will China's state councillor Wang Yi. Will they come face to face in Munich? Will they have a meeting? There's no official confirmation yet, but a showdown cannot be ruled out.